Shalom Wong. Kahalayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. This is your brother Bathamaya from Great Millstone, Houston, coming to you with a quick lesson. I saw this, um, I took a screenshot online scrolling through the timeline, and it reads Bank of America says U.S. global dollar dominance is not under threat. And BRICS, you want and crypto are not alternatives. Well, we know that if you've been watching that, there's been a lot of countries joining BRICS. And BRICS consists of um, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Um, but there's plenty of countries now that have been trying to join BRICS. And what they're doing is taking over the U.S., <clears throat> the power of the U.S. dollar. Like You have a lot of countries switching over. But... You know, America is, you know, with these smooth sayings, trying to keep these Babylonians, which is Babylon the Great or the daughter of Babylon is America, trying to keep them at peace so they don't uproar like they're doing overseas, like, in, you know, Paris and, you know, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so like it. But I had a quick, you know, a few precepts just wanted to bring out. I really wanted to go into uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 3, which is the uh, main one. So let me start. I'll start at the top. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord coming as a thief in the night. Now, if you've been watching, then the Lord is not going to catch us off guard as a thief in the night would. But if you're on guard, if you're on your watch, if you're on post, how could you be caught off guard? And if you're watching, you will know that all these countries are joining bricks and you will know that the, the U.S. dollar dominance is under threat, you know. What, what, um, matter of fact, let me grab this precept, Salakia. You know, Esau Edom, which is the so-called Caucasians, you know, the, the the white people, which are really red, but we know that they're full of lies. That's all that they do is lie they, and deceive. That's pretty much one of their, I don't want to say spiritual power, but that's pretty much uh, one of their blessings. Uh, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked, which is Esau Edom, you know, you so-called white people, you self-proclaimed white people, Caucasians, you know, mainly you higher up your elites. Uh, Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So all they do is speak lies. They telling you that the U.S. Dom, uh, the U.S. dollar dominance is not a threat. Yes, it is. <laughs> like the, the dollar is being devalued uh, on the daily. So if you're watching, you'll know that it's being the, um, the devalued on a daily basis. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destructive destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So once pretty much this U.S. dollar crashes, then it's going to be a great destruction. But not only here in Babylon the Great, it's really going to have a, a domino effect uh, around the world because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9 and 24. And the wicked would be... You, you top elites, you know, you so-called Caucasians or you self-proclaimed white people. So we know once the dollar falls, it's going to be a great destruction. It's going to be a, a whole lot of chaos, you know, and uproars. And pretty much that's what they really want. But what they really don't understand is they're under this great delusion through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that once all chaos starts, they're not going to be able to control it. Like you can't control chaos unless you are the, the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So when they say when they shall say peace and safety, like right now, like oh, you know, the dominance is it's not under the threat, but it really is. And then after that, when once you know the everybody really uh, goes into this uh, cryptocurrency, or you know the CBC, CBDCs, which is the um, central bank digital currency, it really all leads to the karagma, you know, that grain of rice that they want to implant under your your skin, whether it's your right hand, your left hand, or in your head. You know, to to so that you can be able to buy or sell, but you're not gonna be able to escape it. <laughs> you you're not gonna be able to escape it. Lord willing, you know, we we have that mark of exemptions that we can escape that hour of temptation of that karagma, or that that grain of rice, that we don't you know partake into that. Um, but that's pretty much all that I had. Call halayim la Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, this was edifying and shalom.